So let's discuss the prefrontal cortex and the brain's frontal lobe. And the number one thing you can do to improve its functioning for better attention, emotion regulation, and self-regulation. But first, I want to go through the sort of symptoms and signs that might be indicative that you want to improve your brain's prefrontal cortex functioning. So if you have high levels of anxiety or depression or any kind of trouble with emotion regulation or stress regulation, if you have attentional or focus issues, if you have issues with organizing, planning or switching your attention between two tasks, if you have impulsivity or inability to manage stressful thoughts or inability to manage behavioral like uh, snacking or shopping or some any kind of compulsive behavior, all these functions that I mentioned are the functions modulated by your brain's prefrontal cortex. The brain has four lobes and the front part of your brain is called the frontal lobe and it has four main parts and their functions are the following. So the motor cortex, as its name implies, control the execution of movement. The motor association area is involved in planning and coordinating these movements. The frontal eye fields control voluntary eye movements and visual attention. And the prefrontal cortex, which is the most front part of your brain, is involved in a wide range of executive functions like emotion regulation, focus, planning, organizing information, decision making, and problem solving. It plays a significant role in behavior personality, and social interactions. So you can imagine how important these areas are for everyday action and behavior. So high-intensity exercise has shown to improve the brain prefrontal cortex functioning. During high-intensity exercise, the muscles require rapid source of energy. So it starts burning your body's glucose stores for the energy. This creates a byproduct called pyruvate, which is converted into lactate. So your muscles have lactate, but they don't want to keep that lactate, so they release it into the bloodstream. And it can travel through your blood-brain barrier via transporters directly into your brain. You know that your muscles are making lactate when you feel this tingling or burning sensation in the muscles and you feel the muscle fatigue. Even though it may feel uncomfortable, but it's actually a good thing for your brain. So keep that in mind next time you feel the muscle fatigue. So now this lactate is in your brain and it's taken up by the brain cells and they can use it to producing energy, ATP. So when you are doing high intensity exercise and you are creating movement, your brain's motor area and your supplemental motor area and your prefrontal cortex is active. So there will be increased blood flow and energy production to the prefrontal cortex, especially in the motor areas. Lactate in the brain has many benefits. It's shown to be neuroprotective, which means it can help counteract brain inflammation and preserve cognitive function under stress. It can enhance mitochondrial functioning in the brain, which supports brain energy production, and it's even considered a potential strategy for counteracting some brain diseases. Exercise is shown to reduce risk of Alzheimer's by 45%. So besides lactate, the second mechanism that happens in the brain is the production of BHB, which is beta-hydroxybutyrate. This is a ketone body. So again, during high intensity exercise, the body's glycogen stores deplete and your body starts burning fat for energy. This is when the fatty acids from the tissue are transported to the liver and converted into acetyl-CoA and then ketone bodies, including BHB, which is the brain beneficial ketone body. Again, BHB goes into the brain via the blood-brain barrier and is used as an effective source of energy in the brain cells. Also, BHB has the ability to protect the brain from inflammation, enhance neuroplasticity, learning, and memory functions. BHB has also shown to benefit mood and can reduce anxiety and depression, which are often linked to prefrontal cortex dysfunction. Just a single boost of six minutes of high-intensity exercise can boost the brain lactate and BHB, providing brain health benefits. 
If you do a short burst of high intensity exercise in a fasted state, which means you haven't been eaten in, let's say, 10 to 12 or 14 hours, the effect is much faster because your body has already used glucose from the bloodstream. So there is less glucose available and it starts more rapidly producing lactate and converting the body fat into ketones, which are the brain beneficial molecules. So over time, if you do these exercises regularly, for example, a couple times a week in the morning, you could improve your brain's prefrontal cortex functioning in a cost-effective, natural, scientifically studied way. I hope this helps. I'll link the studies below. Check out my other videos too. And if you're interested in this topic, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.